Hey guys and welcome into today's video. My name is Jason and today we are going to be talking and discussing Facebook stock because the shares have recently been on a downtrend and yesterday we did have some earnings. We are now seeing Facebook around a 15% pullback all the way down to that 200 day moving average on the daily chart guys. So this could potentially be a very nice place to load the boat for the long term. Now we have a ton of news to discuss in today's video and I'm very excited to get this video out for you guys so if you could do me a huge favor and go down there and smash that like button for me and also hit that big red subscribe button if you are new and welcome to this family of investors like I said my name is Jason and I cover news and information on the stock market every single day on some of our absolute channel favorite stocks like Neo, Tesla and of course our ALPP stock and a quick plug, if you would like to join or have access to any of my private buy and sell alerts on the Discord, then be sure to check out the Patreon in the link below in the description. So guys, here is the financial report for Facebook in its third quarter results. And while it's worth knowing that they had missed on some EPS, guys, we have seen a 35% growth for Facebook over the last year from 2020. If you look at these results, guys, from 21 to 29 billion. So this is some fantastic growth that Facebook are seeing year over year and anything guys above 20% is in fact considered very very good for a stock so this is something that we are going to be looking out for on our favorite stocks in every single quarter and what I love about this stock guys is the fact that like I said right now it is in fact on a retracement and it has pulled back from those all-time highs so this could potentially be a very good time to get into this stock for a long-term hold and capitalize and here is why so Facebook had missed by about half a billion on their expected revenues, guys. But what was so exciting to see is the fact that Facebook have announced its share repurchases. And it's saying that they repurchased 14.37 billion of their Class A common stock in the third quarter and had another remaining of roughly 8 billion on the prior share repurchase authorization as of September 30th. But what was announced today, guys, was a $50 billion increase in their share repurchase authorization. So this means guys that the share buyback program is in fact going to push the shares of Facebook higher. It shows me that Facebook are thinking that they are currently undervalued at this valuation and in fact they are going to be pumping more money into the stock which in turn is going to buy back those shares and again it's going to increase that share price they are going to reward their shareholders so this goes to show me guys that there is going to be some nice upside coming for Facebook over the next year and that is why I have a price target on Facebook around $428 so that is where I see Facebook going in the long term and if you would like to know exactly when I plan to take profits on this stock then be sure, like I said, to check out the private Patreon. And again, when I'm in fact buying into this stock. But like I said, guys, there is loads of news and information. And another thing that I love about the outlook of this company is right now, they are looking at getting into changing their name. As we know, this is another reason why they have recently sold off. And Mark Zephyr has said that they are trying to get in with the metaverse. Now, the metaverse is coming for Facebook, and that is why they have invested over 10,000 people right now in employment and they are working with Reality Labs. So this is very exciting because ARK Invest guys are predicting that the future growth of, in fact, the augmented reality market is going to grow from $1 billion in 2021 all the way up to $130 billion in market cap. Now, there are only going to be a few companies that are going to be getting in on this massive opportunity. One of those is a stock that I had recently talked about that had sold off to $76, and that stock was Unity software and it's now sitting at $150 per share and all of my beautiful patrons were rewarded because I did put out a buy for this just about four months ago so that stock is now up over 70 to 80 percent but what I love guys is the fact that Facebook like I said are investing in the metaverse right now and this is a massive market that Arc believe is actually going to take off in the billions so this is going to be some very useful information to know if you are buying Facebook for the long term they do have obviously some new that will in fact tweak around some new catalysts to push that share price higher over the next decade. So this is why I am investing right now in Facebook. And again, I love the fact that we have seen a massive pullback on the stock. And typically, guys, if we go onto the daily charts, we can see that over history, over the last few years, Facebook has technically pulled down to these areas of support just a few times a year. And when Facebook does in fact touch down onto that 200-day moving average, 
typically we do see a reversal and Facebook then does tend to go on to make those new all-time highs. So in my belief, guys, it's just a matter of time until Facebook, in fact, start to re-push forward with that share repurchase program. What I also love about the technical setup, guys, is the fact that we were touching down on the oversold level on the RSI and if you look back at history it is very rare that Facebook in fact go underneath on the RSI it is very very rare indeed this is a stock that has a lot of bullish momentum and it has done extremely well and so right now we do have a lot more room to still run up of course when that RSI indicator starts to creep back up to the 70 level so there's lots of different valuation metrics that I use when I'm looking to purchase into a company and one thing that I love to check guys is the CO I love to check to see whether the company does have a good CEO, how up to date they are in the markets and in fact if they are giving out news and catalysts. I love to look at the technical setup. What we are doing right now guys is reading a technical graph on TradingView on Facebook on the one day chart because this goes to show me guys I can use the 100, 250 day moving averages. I can use the RSI indicator to get my best possible optimum entry and again I can look for those days where we have seen a lot of red, a lot of selling in the market and we are in fact in a pullback and all of this guys goes to show me that I have done my research and the valuation is in fact starting to look more positive. Again we have looked at the Q3 earnings and they are absolutely fantastic and again we have seen that they are growing 35% year over year Again, they are now expecting 34 billion in estimates for their next quarter. So we will have to pay close attention to see how that goes. And what I do love is the fact that, like I said, they are investing right now in augmented reality, which ARK believes is a $130 billion market cap, which Facebook will take some share of. So guys, that is why I like this stock right now and what I have been doing with the stock. Again, like I said, if you would like access to any of my private buy and sell alerts, then be sure to check out that link below. So guys, what what are your thoughts on Facebook? Are you in fact a Facebook shareholder or in fact are you selling Facebook at this range because you do not believe in the future growth of this company? I would absolutely love to hear your opinion but before I go guys I would love to just go onto Google and I would absolutely love to type in our Facebook price prediction on tip ranks because you can also see guys from 44 analysts that we have a medium target of $424 and again if we come onto tip ranks look at that 32 ratings and we have so so many strong buys over here guys with an average price of $419 and the highest guys being $500 a share so that is some enormous upside if Facebook is to in fact capitalize and the bull thesis for this stock does play out over the long term because guys that would represent over a 60% upside from the current share price so guys I do really hope that you enjoyed this video today if you would like me to do any more updates on your favorite stocks then let me know below in the comments I hope to see you guys back on on my channel soon for some more content on investing make sure to go down there if you haven't already and smash that like button for me don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video ciao